the next video is the next installment for Freedom for His Princess. And we're up to Run to Him with Blinders On. It bursts forth like a radiant bridegroom after his wedding. It rejoices like a great athlete eager to run the race. Psalm 19.5 When I was a little girl, my dad would take me to the racetrack. The horses me mesmerized me. They were fast, they were focused, and they were determined to finish their race a winner. But what amazed me even more is that they ran their race with blinders on. This meant they could only see forward. They could not see who they were running next to. They could not see who was watching from the audience. They could not even see the jockey riding them. They could feel the jockey, though, guiding them with every stride. The horses somehow knew the jockey could see what they could not. In other words, they trusted their jockey to get them to the finish line. Our God is our jockey, and we don't need to see or feel anything but his spirit leading us. It does not matter who is cheering us on or putting us down. All we need to do to finish our life race as a soul winner is to put our blinders on so that we look straight ahead and then allow the living God inside us to help us win people for Christ. If you think about it, what good will it do if we run for the praises of people and conquer nothing for the kingdom of God? Today's Bible Life Coaching I was blinded by the intense light and had to be led by the hand to Damascus by my com companions. Acts 22.11 God had to literally blind the Apostle Paul to help him step into his destiny. King David may have never stepped into his destiny if he did not have blinders on. It was David's blinders that kept him from seeing the size of Goliath, the giant, and the look of fear on everyone else's faces. His blinders did not change the fact that the giant was bigger and stronger than David. The giant had the reputation of being unbeatable, and it appeared David was defeated before he even stepped out on the battlefield. Even in light of this, David did not see the giant as too big to hit. He saw him as too big to miss. David's blinders gave birth to his destiny. When we make up our minds to run with blinders, we won't lose sight of the eternal prize. Blinders are a good thing if we are running our race for God's glory and not our own. If you are feeling like everyone around you is better, smarter, stronger and faster, it is because you don't have your blinders on. You are in the same race as your Christian brothers and sisters and your race is equally as important as theirs is to furthering God's kingdom. When you feel like you're losing your race, I want to encourage you to not look at what you see in the world, but instead to focus on what you know to be true in the word. His Princess Love Letter I believe if your Heavenly Father wrote your personal love letter for today, it would read like this. Beloved Princess, there will be times when you feel I am far from you, but this is not true, my love. Your feelings will deceive you, but I never will. I am the truth that will forever help you find your way back to me. So, whenever you feel lost, look up so I can light your way. When your world seems dark, I will be your compass and your comfort. I will carry you over the finish line of your faith when you're too weary to run. You will never be lost as long as you keep your eyes on me. Even when you don't have the strength to go on, I will be your strength. Love, your prince. You go before me and follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too great for me to understand. Psalm 139, 5-6 Your Today's treasure of truth. Your Father sees perfectly what you cannot. He will remove any obstacle in the way of His will for you. And that ends that installment for freedom for His princess.